here we have a number of different partners that we work very closely with. I think first I should mention, mention the African Union and the African Union Commission, especially our colleagues at the African Union Border Programme. We designed this initiative, this continental initiative, together with our colleagues at the African Union um, in line of their existing convening power and, and strong research um, in, in the field of borderlands. At the same time, we work very closely with regional economic communities and mechanisms. We work very closely in the Horn with EGAT, with the Liptako Gomo Authority, uh, in the Sahel, and we are using both their strong networks, their convening power with member states, but also their data and research uh, as we are informing our programming site. The UN system has a large presence across Africa. Now, traditionally, this presence is in capitals, but some of our UN partners, I'm going to mention, for example, IOM or UNHCR, FAO, WFP, they do tend to have presence in borderlands, often much more so than UNDP. So we are utilizing our UN presence on the ground as we are directly engaging with borderland communities. National and local partners, particularly working through our UNDP country offices at the forefront of our conversations because we understand the need for local and national authorities to lead and to own any initiatives in support to borderland communities. But finally, and most importantly, the main goal of the Africa Borderland Center is to engage, to empower, but also to give voice to the innovation, to the ideas, to the lives of borderland communities. So throughout last year and this year, we have been working closely with borderland communities across Africa. We visited over 20 countries in 2021 to directly engage with borderland communities, to women, with women and youth in Africa's borderlands to, to hear from these communities what entry points there are for collaboration and for programming and investment in Africa's borderlands. Thank you.